What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys had a fantastic day today. And today we have the September 2022 Dallas Fort Worth International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Today we have a loaded Dallas Fort Worth International Airport update for you guys. A lot of awesome aircraft in today's airport update and a ton of movements to go over. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video and without any further delay, let's get started. We got a loaded update, like I said, a lot of awesome movements and so much to dive into. So let's not waste any further time and begin right here. Sorry, this angle is really bad. But as you guys can see, we have the beautifully lit Qantas Boeing 787-9. This guy's currently making non-stop service today in from Sydney, Australia, of course. He's going to be heading back out there. Very excited for that Melbourne service. Really excited for Qantas right there. And they'll do really well with that. So that's really awesome. Next in line right here, you're gonna find the Spirit Airbus A320neo. This guy's gonna make a non-stop service today in from Cancun. This guy will have a continuing service today out to Los Angeles. Next in line, you're gonna find the American Airlines 737-800. This guy made a non-stop service today in from Toronto Pearson. This guy's gonna have a continuing service today over to San Diego, California. Following that, we have the American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER. This guy's gonna make a non-stop service today in from Frankfurt. This guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to Honolulu in Hawaii, of course. The American Eagle Ember Ear J-170 on the behalf of uh, Envoy Air is currently making the non-stop service today in from uh, Grand Junction and we'll have a continuing flight today out to Keelan, Texas. I'm really, really excited for the upcoming new orders. That will be really cool for Envoy. So very excited to see that in their fleet. To end up replacing some of these Ember Ear J-145s, which will end up going over the Piedmont for the indefinite future. So it'll be interesting to see how Piedmont utilizes those, whether it's new routes or additional frequencies. Here is the first one for Envoy. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from Midland, Texas. Texas. This guy's going to have a continuing flight today over to the uh, Tyler, Texas area. And then you'll find a variety of SkyWest and uh, Envoy aircraft. You guys know which is which at this point. We'll begin with that SkyWest 700. This guy's currently coming in from uh, El Paso. We'll have a continuing service out to Flagstaff. In the middle, we have the uh, 145. This guy's currently coming in from Albany, Texas. I'll have a continuing service today out to uh, Texas uh, or Energia. I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get better with those. I'm not very good at sounding out words, so you guys may know what I'm talking about, hopefully so. This CRJ-700 is currently coming in from um, Aspen. We'll have a continuing flight today out to um, Idaho Falls, quite interesting. Another 145, this guy's currently coming in today from um, <coughs> Alexandria, Louisiana. We'll have a continuing flight today over to um, Champaign International Airport. And then we have the another Ember Ear J-145. This guy's currently coming in from um, Waco, Texas, and we'll continue out to Wichita Falls in Texas as well. Very nice. Uh, we'll pan over here to that American 737 800. This guy's currently texting out to the active, or yeah, he's heading out to 17 uh, right, I believe. This guy's currently making a non stop service today in from Boston. This guy's continuing out to Burbank today, so quite a nice lineup to say the least. We'll actually deviate back over here to the 17s and work on some of these aircraft since we're over here. We'll begin right here, currently pulling off of the runway. We have the American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. This guy is making the typical London Heathrow service. As you guys know, that's all the 777-300s doing right now. So we'll have to see where it progresses from there, but hopefully in a good direction to say it one way. Here's the TWA American Airlines 737-800 lifting off 17 right. Uh, this guy's currently making a non-stop service today over to the uh, Charlotte area. This guy came in earlier today from St. Louis. Of course, a huge former TWA hub, as you guys may know. American also tried to run it for an extended period as well. This Mesa House, every bumper in a CRJ-900 is currently making a non-stop service today in from Lubbock, Texas. This guy's going to have a continuing flight today over to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And here is this CRJ-700 on the behalf of SkyWest Airlines. This guy is currently coming in from Monroe, Louisiana. It will be continuing today over to Santa Fe in New Mexico. And in some nice lighting right there, we have another Envoy 145. This guy's kind of making a non-stop service today in from the Midland, Texas area. This guy's going to have a continuing flight today up to Del Rio. Very nice. And, you know, it's not the best for you, but hey, we'll make it work. UPS's Airbus A300 is currently coming in from, uh, let's say this guy's a Miami flight. This guy's continuing up to Denver today. All right. We'll actually kind of do this from the back perspective. It's usually nicely lit, and it will be in the upcoming updates. So I might as well just uh, take advantage from this angle, so we'll do that. But first and foremost, before the lighting gets any worse, the Emirates Boeing 777-300ER is currently making the non-stop service today in from Dubai on the cargo flight. This guy's going to be heading back out there. Or you guys can say this is a passenger flight. That's not the hardest thing. I don't know if they're doing any more cargo flights. So nevertheless, this guy's currently hanging out, and he'll be heading back out there in a couple hours over there at the F hard stand. He wouldn't normally park on the F hard stand unless it was cargo. So nevertheless, looking good, to say the least. Two SkyWest Series 700s. 
Uh, the normal livery is currently coming in today from Bismarck, North Dakota. This guy's going to be continuing out to Columbia in Missouri. I believe it's a 700, hopefully so. Uh, the next Sky West house livery is currently coming in from Wichita, Kansas. This guy's going to have a continuing service today over to St. George in Utah. The Spirit Airbus A320 is currently pushing back. This guy currently has a nonstop service today. <coughs> Excuse me. Over to Cleveland. This guy came in earlier today from Las Vegas. And the Airbus A321 for Spirit is currently making a flight today in from uh, Tampa. It'll have a continuing service today over to Phoenix. Frontiers Airbus A320 Neo uh, is Georgia the Painted Bunny. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today. Uh, they have quite a few routes. This guy's coming in from Atlanta and this guy's gonna be continuing out to Phoenix Sky Harbor. Here's the Delta lineup today, quite a nice look. Here's their Airbus E321. This guy's coming in from Atlanta or Citrus Aviation Airport. Feel free to submit local fan pictures and subscriber routes. That link's in the description. This guy's gonna be continuing out to Atlanta as well in the turnaround. Delta's A22300 is currently making a non-stop flight today in from Minneapolis and will continue out to Detroit. And then we have an Airbus A220 at the 100 variant. This guy's currently loading up with a non-stop service today over to uh, A3, or sorry, A220 is uh, making it over to New York Gorgias Airport. This guy came in earlier today from uh, New York John Kennedy. And lastly, the Airbus A320 is currently coming down from Salt Lake City, Utah. This guy's gonna have a continuing flight today over to, excuse me, let's go with um, uh, back over to Salt Lake City on a turnaround today. Looking at the back half of Turnable E right here, as you guys can see, we have a lot of good aircraft, beginning with the JetBlue Airbus E320 in the spot. I tell this guy's coming in from New York, John F. Kennedy, and continuing out to Boston Logan. The Alaska Boeing 737 MAX 9 is currently coming in from Seattle and continuing out to Portland, which has been a very hot service for Alaska. The United 737-700 is currently coming in from Newark. This guy's continuing out to Houston Intercontinental. And then the 320 for United is currently coming in from Chicago O'Hare. This guy's continuing out to Denver. And the Air Canada Express Embry Ear J-175 is currently coming in from Montreal, continuing out to Toronto. Really cool how they park here. I believe they're the only non-US carrier parking at Terminal E right now. WestJet did for an extended period of time, but obviously that extended period of time ended quite a while ago, so looking very nice. Now the lighting's honestly not too bad on this side. I wish I was on the other side still. That was kind of my fault for not thinking about this, but here's the American Airlines Airbus A321 in the stand-up can delivery to start the Terminal D extension piece. This guy's currently making a non-stop flight today in from Fort Lauderdale. This guy is continuing service today out to uh, Seattle. The PSA Airbus A319 uh, is smiling up there in the front. is currently coming in from Washington Reagan National. This guy's gonna have a continuing service today over to the, um, let's, let's go with the um, Reno area. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure they'll be through operating 319s there. If not, I apologize. May just be all these Boeing 737s as they continue to make huge appearances here at the Dallas Fort Worth. This guy's kind of making a non-stop service today in from Albuquerque. This guy's gonna have a continuing flight today over to Hartford in Connecticut. And lastly, the Airbus A319 right here is currently loading up with a non-stop service today out to, e or I'm sorry, excuse me, this is not a shark, but uh, El Paso, Texas or DP Avenue Airport. Uh, this guy's gonna be coming in today from the, um, uh, let's go with the Memphis, Tennessee area. That would be nice for him, very nice. Also, I would have started on the other side of the airport for different, but the lighting kind of favored this and then it kind of shifted. So I apologize about that in advance, but here's the stunning looking international concourse. We have a lot of great movements going on here, as you guys can see. So let's begin over here with the back half. American 737-800 with the logo on the wing line. It's gonna make a nonstop service <coughs> with a bent antenna. I'm telling you guys, I've had so many broken models recently. It's very unfortunate, but you gotta make do with what you have. This guy's currently coming in from Tulsa. This guy's gonna have a continuing flight today over to, um, let's go with New York Gordia. American's Boeing 777-200ER is currently pushing back. This guy's a non-stop service today over to uh, Rome in Italy, of course. This guy came in earlier today from, I believe Bruno's Aeronos is now on a 787-8. Hopefully I got that right. Uh, this guy is gonna be continuing over to, um, no domestic 777, so let's uh, send this guy out to um, uh, Frankfurt. That's a pretty good international route. So glad to see American going strong with those, and hopefully we'll get even more international routes in the future. The 787-9 is currently making a non-stop service today. 787-9 um, is kind of all over the place. This guy's coming in from Paris today. This guy's going to have a team service today over to the... Um, Tokyo Narita, that's what it was. So Tokyo Narita strong by American, then Haneda is served by Japan, the One World Alliance partner, and uh, they get uh, Narita and uh, Haneda. So very nice right there. American Airlines 77-8 is currently coming in from Dublin, Ireland, and this guy's continuing today now over to Bruno's Aeronos, which is really cool. So quite a wide variety of international routes, and I try to pick some variety there. So glad to see that right there, and that's looking really good. And sorry about the extended dust. I try to dust all these models, but sometimes 
uh, everyone doesn't quite get there. How about the stunning British Airways Airbus A380-800 still making it in here in September, which is awesome. This guy's going to make the non-stop service today in from the London Heathrow, of course. This guy's going to be heading back out there on the daily service. American Airlines is going, um, <clears throat> just complimenting them really well, but British Airways, of course, sending a ton of demand here, and hopefully they're doing really well with the loads on these. Honestly, I haven't even looked. I've never thought about looking at a double-decker passenger aircraft load map seat. I guess there would be like, <clears throat> sorry. Eating after dinner or filming after dinner is not quite ideal. But nevertheless, uh, what I'm trying to say here, of course, is uh, how there would be a seat map for a double decker. That seems pretty cool. So very, very nice right there. Uh, quite a unique lineup. We have British Airways, Qatar, and Turkish. So quite a unique lineup. We'll pan over here to the Qatar Airbus A350-1000 normal livery. You guys know how excited I am to have this model still, even though I've already had it for a month. This plane is awesome. Really, really like it, and it's a stunning aircraft. This guy's going to make the non-stop service today in from Doha, obviously, in Qatar. This guy's going to be continuing back out there here in a few hours. Great model. I'll be using it a lot. I'll still use the One World, of course, but I definitely want to use this as much as possible because this is really, really nice. And then lastly, we have the Turkish Airlines Boeing 787-9. This guy's coming in from Istanbul. Very, very good service right there. I think Turkish has done really, really well. So I'm really happy to see their progression. They've been an awesome uh, compliment, even considering their Sky Team carrier and everything. But I think they've done a really, really good job here at Dallas. So that's been awesome to see. And uh, quite an extensive international lineup has been very fun to see here at Dallas-Fort Worth. This has been awesome. American Airlines mainline, as per usual, let's get started. 737-800 is currently making the non-stop service today in from uh, Buffalo. And this guy's continuing today out to Bosman. Airbus A319 is currently coming in today from uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. And this guy's continuing today over to uh, Syracuse, New York. Airbus A321 with Sharklets is currently coming in today from... Um, I'm trying to get some different ones from the previous update. Uh, Pittsburgh, and this guy's continuing over to Ontario. The Airbus A319 with Sharklets has pushed the battle service out to Key West. This guy came in earlier today from Jackson Hole. And the 737-800 at the edge right there is currently coming in today from Atlanta. This guy's continuing today over to Los Angeles. That route kind of goes um, under the radar considering how many um, heavies that we've had on in the past, but it's all good. Uh, there's two CRJs back there. The 900 right there is currently making a non-stop service today in from uh, Bloomington in Illinois. And this guy's going to be continuing out to Birmingham, Alabama, or Mesa. And then the SkyWest CRJ 700 is currently coming in from Manhattan, Kansas. And this guy's going to have a continuing flight today out to Colorado Springs. There is an aircraft over there on the top side, but I'll get to that one here in a moment. And then right there, we have an American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER in the One World livery. This guy's going to make an, a non-stop service today in from, uh, they have a lot of variety of routes. We'll say this guy's coming in from Madrid. This guy had a non-stop service earlier today. Uh, we'll say it's a maintenance flight from Miami. I wish there was more heavies there. That's unfortunate, but there we go. American Eagles Ember Ear J-170 in the uh, retro colors, of course, for Envoy. is currently coming in from Keelan, Texas. This guy's going to be continuing over to... Trying to think of a good 60-seater uh, route for him. Uh, we'll go with Waco. A little off, but why not change it up a little bit? American Airlines Airbus A321 Neo. This guy's coming in from Los Angeles and continuing today out to Phoenix Sky Harbor. And waiting to focus is the 737-800 that just got pushed back. This guy's kind of making a non-stop service today out to uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. This guy came in earlier today from the uh, Palm Springs area. And also congratulations now, Velo's out there, so that's really nice. American Airlines Allegheny Airbus A319 made a non-stop service today earlier in from Denver. This guy's continuing on a maintenance service up to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Nice to see that. Very nice. And then we have this American Airlines Airbus A321 in the normal livery right here. This guy's currently making a uh, service today in from the um, San Francisco area. And this guy's going to be continuing over to uh, Philadelphia. Very nice. Alrighty everybody, so for a little intermission here, we're going to be taking a look at various pictures that Citrus Aviation sent in as he went to Dallas over to summer for his dispatch training. Congratulations to him on that, that's an awesome accomplishment. And he also made some very good videos at Dallas uh, spotting, so definitely check those out. They were really fun to get to watch and some trip parts and all. Really enjoyed those and they've been really fun to watch, so definitely check those out. But let's begin with these pictures. Beginning right here, we have the Viva Airbus, Airbus A320 Neo. This was took May 15, 2022 at 2pm. 2 really nice shot right here, very glad to get to see this. And and it is X-Ray Alpha, Victor India Alpha in the normal livery. Just ultimately a really cool aircraft. I wish we had some models of this to represent it, but very cool to get to see the Viva A320 Neo in a really nice shot as the lighting was starting to come down and look really good on these following aircraft, as you guys will see. Following that, we have the Qantas Boeing 787-9 Victor Hotel Zulu November uh, Bravo, I believe is what that tail number is from Glance. And a really nice job right here on this picture. As you guys can see, you got the cargo door wearing out a little bit, but the Qantas 787-9 is such a cool aircraft. Really glad that he was able to see this, and 
and it is really cool. What a beautiful livery it is and just looks really nice. Nice job there on that shot. A really rare catch right here, as you guys can see, we have the Antonov 12K variant. Uniform Romeo, uh, Charlie November Tango coming into Dallas at 3.49 p.m. CDT. And just a really cool shot this is right here. This is absolutely awesome, and I'm really glad to get to see this right here. Just a beautiful livery with the navy into the red and then the propellers and all. Just such a cool livery, and even that uh, little, uh, I don't I don't know what the better, uh, the proper term is, but like the uh, fishing line uh, deal from the tail all the way to the front of the fuselage. Very cool aircraft, and I'm really glad that he got to see that so congratulations again to see that that's a really cool catch especially that nose oh my gosh the nose is really cool and that very nice Valaris Airbus A320 Neo with the Kelvin tunnels or just A320 with shark lips excuse me that's what I was trying to say Victor Alpha uh, Victor or X-ray Alpha Victor Lima Echo really cool shot right here such a cool aircraft and really glad you got to see that they fly quite a few Neos in there so I'm glad you got to see a 320s that's very nice cool shot right there very nice loving this this is the American Airlines boom 777-200 ER November 762 Alpha November making it into Dallas for worth on the uh, runway 18 right I believe this should be it might be left but it looks like right to me and as you guys can see really cool shot with the scenery of course it's triple seven in general with the GE90s the flaps and everything just looking so cool and the jello on that as well a little bit of wear on the flaps but hey the American triple sevens are workhorses and you guys can see Turner will be back there with some RJs in the mainline aircraft that's what they're currently doing and really glad to get to see Dallas from another perspective as per usual it's a really cool shot right here that is awesome Following that, we have the Turkish Airlines Boeing 77-9. I believe this is Tango Charlie uh, Lima Lima uh, Juliet. Really cool shot right here coming in at 6.04 p.m. May 1-5, 2022. Just a really cool shot in general. Love Turkish's livery and what they're doing at Dallas now with the daily service. So really glad that he was able to see this and what a cool shot this is right here. Flash forward to May 16, 2022. The next day at 3.34 p.m., the Qatar Airbus A350-1000 is currently making its way in from Doha. What a stunning shot this is. Alpha 7, Alpha November. Oscar. I believe this is the same aircraft that Aviation 400 did, which is super cool as I had that model in this update. So just a really cool moment right there. I'm glad to get to see it. And it really proves the principle of how big of a staple the Qatar Airbus A350 is at Dallas. And I'm really glad to get to represent it in the normal livery. What a cool shot this is. Absolutely awesome. Nice work right there by Citrus. And then here's the Turkish Airlines Boeing 787-9 coming in. Some neat lighting at 5.54 p.m. at uh, Dallas on May 16, of course. Another fantastic shot. Love the beacon and all. And just a really unique angle. And I really like it. So good job citrus for capturing that turkish right there very nice and here's an american airlines airbus a321 neo november four five four five one alpha november gliding into the uh dallas fort Worth international airport a stunning aircraft really glad that they're operating more of these to dallas and they're one of my favorite planes i'm excited to see how this becomes a staple of the american airlines fleet to come so really good shot right there you can even see on the nose it looks like maybe perhaps a cloud was kind of in there somewhere that's what it looks like at least because the sun's not all the way down on the ground yet so i'm thinking that uh sun blasted through a cloud for that shot so looks really clean right there that's very nice flash forwarding to our next picture this takes us all the way up to july 17 2022 at 3 51 p.m we have the Qantas boeing 787-9 in the 100 stick livery really cool aircraft right here i really like the livery on this one very very nice uh victor hotel zulu uh kilo juliet i believe is what that is so really good job right there by citrus for capturing that that's absolutely awesome you love to see it right there for Qantas. following that we have a ups boeing 747-400 uh, i don't see the tell number on this one but this is a really good looking aircraft and it's really cool and very heartwarming to think that when i do put the 747 in these updates it is no joke as they do come in regularly at 4 12 p.m in july uh so really cool to get to see this I uh, love the old titles on there and then the nose wear as well just shows how awesome 747 400 is and you can definitely expect these to be featured in even more updates for many years to come speaking of which take a look at this nose shot as well just really cool to get to see the uh, just the whole concept of the Boeing 747 from how big the nose is to all the separate panels on there to the UPS underneath the nose the main landing gears the engines that that's awesome that's super cool really nice job right there by Citrus for capturing that that is absolutely awesome Last but certainly not least, to cap this off the right way, you guys already know what shot has to be in here. From July 17, 2022 at 4.55 p.m., almost 4.56, the British Airways Airbus A380-800 uh, that appears to be Gulf Le X-Ray Lima Echo Alpha coming in, gliding into runway 18 right at Founders Plaza in from London Heathrow, of course. This has just been so cool to see at Dallas. I'm so excited to go get to see one of these someday, and this is just so cool. Really cool catch for Citrus. I think he also got this pitch on uh, jet photos or flight aware 
one or the other that it had thousands of views on so glad that he was able to do that and that is so cool and thank you for sharing all these pictures if you guys would like to share pictures as well or subscribe routes or anything to be interactive with these airport updates feel free to check out the description you may have to go down a couple lines but they are on there and i'd highly recommend doing that so that you guys can get featured in here so yeah absolutely awesome shots thank you for sharing once again citrus and i really appreciate it so with all that being said we'll take it back into the airport update Alrighty, here we are over here at Terminal A and B. We have several awesome aircraft to go over. So I'm actually gonna work uh, to the other side this time to kind of change it up. So we'll start over here with the Eagle aircraft and start working up there towards the mainline aircraft. Here's an American Eagle Umber EJS 175, of course, Envoy Air for this guy. This guy's coming in from Springfield, Missouri. This guy's continuing today over to the uh, Columbia, South Carolina area. This Umber EJS 175 is currently pulling into the gate after a nonstop service in from Amarillo. Sorry guys, my phone died. So that's in reference to why the video abruptly uh, cut right there. So I apologize about that, but we got to do what we got to do here with the preferences. So yeah, uh, proceeding into our next aircraft, we had one of these Envoy 175s. We'll say that we were on this one. This guy's currently making the service today and from, uh, let's go with uh, uh, Savannah. This guy's continuing out to uh, Evansville in Indiana. This Mesa CRJ-900 is currently making the non-stop service today in from Northwest Arkansas, continue out to Houston Intercontinental. So it's really nice to get to Houston a couple months ago. That was really cool in reference to that, of course. So that was, that was very nice. That was awesome. Another Ember Ear Data 175 for Envoy. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from Omaha. It's going to be continuing today out to Tallahassee. Mesa CRJ-900 continue the raid the building. We'll begin with this one on the left. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today in from... Uh, let's go with Destin Fort Wadden Beach for this guy, and this guy continuing today over to Kansas City. And on the aircraft on your right, currently coming in from Panama City and continuing out to Houston Hobby. Very nice right there, very nice. Americans Airbus A320 is currently coming in from New Orleans. This guy's continuing out to Charleston, South Carolina. And then 300 is currently making the taxing over there to the active runway 17 right. This guy's continuing today over to the... Um, Northwest Arkansas area, this guy came in earlier today from um, Independence, Kansas. Another American Eagle Umber EJS 145, this guy is currently making the non-stop service today over to Baton Rouge. This guy came in earlier today from Garden City, Kansas, quite a cool route. Actually did a cross country planning there in reference to that, so that was pretty nice. And then we have this American Eagle Embry Ear J-175, again, Envoy. This guy's coming in from St. Louis, Missouri. This guy's continuing today over to the uh, Burlington, Virginia area. Very nice, I believe that's once weekly, so very nice. This American Airlines Airbus A321 US Airways Heritage Paint Scheme is currently making a non-stop service today in from the Phoenix Sky Harbor. This guy's gonna be continuing today over to the Denver area. American's Airbus A320 is currently coming in today from Milwaukee. This guy's continuing out to Spokane, Washington. And then we have these two mainline planes right here in reference on the one on your left right there. It's currently making non-stop service today in from Portland. And this guy's continuing out to Austin, Texas. And this one here on the right side is currently making the service today in from Baltimore. This guy's going to be continuing today over to uh, Miami. This 787-9 is currently making the non-stop service today in from... Uh, Kona. This guy's continuing out to Madrid in Spain. Quite a cool route. And that American Airlines 737-800 is currently making the non-stop service today in from, um, let's go with this guy. This guy's going to be making the service today out to Calgary. This guy came in today from uh, Fort Myers. Uh, taking off, getting ready at least, we have the Reno Air 737-800. This guy's coming in today from Indianapolis and this guy's continuing out to Nashville. The Another Ember 175 is currently making the service today in from uh, let's let's go with Des Moines for this guy, and this guy's going to be continuing today over to the um, uh, sorry Hilton Head area. There we go. And that Airbus A321 right down here is currently making the non-stop service today in from Las Vegas, and this guy's doing out to Montego Bay here in a minute. And I'll slowly pan around and get a better view of the, this lineup because we have some really nice aircraft here, and this is just such a pretty view. So thanks for bearing with me, guys. I appreciate it. That's what I'm talking about. So we'll just we'll knock out each and every aircraft from this perspective because this is awesome. All right, A320 at the very end is currently making the non-stop service today in from Washington Reagan National, and this guy's continuing today out to Destin for Wadden Beach. A319 IAE engine is currently coming in from uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, and this guy's continuing today over to Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, 737-800 in the One World Livery is currently coming in today from New York, John F. Kennedy, and this guy's continuing today out to Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. And then we have a 737 Max. This guy's currently coming in from San Jose in California and continuing today out to New York Gordia. I don't know if that's an actual scheduled route this month or not. Hopefully so. That would be cool. But nevertheless, A321 following that, this guy's currently coming in from uh, Columbus and this guy's continuing out to uh, Tucson. 
And then we have an Airbus A319 with the CFM engines. This guy's currently making the service in from Little Rock. And this guy's gonna have continuing service today out to Bogota. And then we have another Airbus A319 that was not intentional, but that kind of is how it happened. This aircraft is currently making the non-stop service today in from Pensacola in Florida. This guy's gonna have a continuing service today out to um, uh, 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 Chihuahua. That's how, that's what I was looking for, sorry. So very, very nice right there. That's quite a unique lineup to say the least. I like what we have going right there. American Eagle, Sierra Day-700 on behalf of SkyWest Airlines is currently making the non-stop service in from, um, let's go with, I'm trying to find some new ones for us. Uh, let's go with Durango, and this guy's going to have a continuing service today over to the Jackson, Mississippi area. And this Learjet 75 is currently making the non-stop service today in from Tyler, Texas, and this guy's going to have a continuing flight today over to the, uh, let's go with the, um, uh, let's see here, um, let's go with Eagleville. I was trying to think of uh, more small cities, so let's do Eagleville. United 737-900 ER is currently coming in from Washington Dulles in the Eco Skies livery. Of course, NG did a great job on this aircraft. As this guy's going to have continuing service today over to the um, San Francisco area. The Z175 is done in. Here's another one for Envoy. I love to see them, though. They look really, really nice. This guy's currently coming in today from uh, Gainesville. This guy's going to have continuing service today uh, over to the um, Wilmington area. I believe it's North Carolina. And here we have this CRJ-900 for American Eagle. Of course, this is going to be Mesa. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from, um, oh, let's go with Myrtle Beach. And this guy's going to be continuing out to um, Bakersfield. Next month, there will be Nain Line. So that's very exciting. Another American Airlines trip 7300 ER. You guys know where this is going at this point, London Heathrow. I wish I had some more variety, but this is all they fly out there right now. So can't complain too much there. And Lutonsis, Airbus E340-300. Currently lines up on runway 18 left with a non-stop service today out to uh, Frankfurt. Really, really cool route. Really love what Lutons uh, is doing here, excuse me. And I think they have an awesome progression to come. So that's very exciting right there for Lutonza. Here's a much better view of that UPS Airbus A300 from earlier because that's much better. So there we go right there. And we have a beautiful hangar over here at the East Hangar. Here's another Envoy 175 currently chilling out. This guy will make a service today out to Oklahoma City here in a little bit. And then right here, we have three variants of the Boeing 737. We actually have two special liveries right next to each other. The AstroJet special livery is right here on your right. Then AirCal makes it right here in the middle. And then there's 737 Max. These guys are just getting routine maintenance checks, just checking in, make sure everything's all right. And then these guys will add on some revenue services here in a little bit. I'll get a better view of the aircraft in the hangar here in a moment, but currently panning around since we have the opportunity, we have a 777-300ER, Boeing 787-8, and a Boeing 787-9. These guys are all chill now. We'll be heading on some international flights here in a little bit. And then a stunning view right here of the beautiful American Airlines Boeing 787-8 with the uh, maintenance strata folding set. This guy's currently uh, chilling out. This guy will be heading out to Dublin here tomorrow. So he's getting a little bit of work done and he'll be heading out there here in a little bit. What a beautiful aircraft. Looks really, really nice. Lastly, for today's airport update, we have the Northeast cargo ramp. I hope to add more inventions like this. Actually, we have the UPS cargo ramp. I need to do a better job with that. I need to make its own little board like this. So I'll see what I can do there. I'll be working on that in the future. FedEx is 757-200. It's currently coming in from Newark and we'll be continuing back out to uh, San Antonio. The FedEx 767-300ER is currently making the not, or freighter, I'm sorry. Coming in from Indianapolis, this guy's continuing back out there. And then we have the Memphis turn on the DC-10. Really, really nice aircraft. Then we have the Primer 767-300 freighter. This guy's currently making a turnaround out to Los Angeles. And then we'll do the Kalita uh, 767 uh, DHL hybrid. This will be a pol polar again, just for the sake of realism. I need to do a decal in there, I apologize. This guy's kind of making the non-stop service today in from uh, Cincinnati and making the turnaround back out there. I'll give you guys some nice panoramic reviews as I take you guys over to the beautiful uh, table over here with the UPS aircraft. I'm gonna try to avoid you guys from seeing any of that over there. Clean it up. We have the Boeing 757-200 right here. This guy's currently loading up with a non-stop service today out to, um, let's go with Greensboro for him. This guy came in earlier today from, um, eh, they don't have Las Vegas. We'll do uh, Denver. The 767-300 uh, freighter is currently coming in from Ontario. And this guy's continuing out to Louisville. And then McDonald doubles MD-11 to finish out today's updates coming in from Newark. And this guy's continuing out to Chicago, Rockford. And just like that, that will do for today's airport update. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Really, really pleased with the progression here at Dallas-Fort Worth for September. I think they've done a really good job. Again, sorry that I wasn't able to do additional research and just clarify some things there. I apologize. I hope to do even more research in the future. And um, yes, uh, 
Dallas is definitely progressing though. We have a lot of awesome stuff ahead. I believe we'll be getting some new services here in the future, which is very, very exciting. And I think that we have a lot of awesome things to come. I believe Auckland's gonna be starting soon, which is very exciting. And I think we're gonna have some various other routes that'll finally be starting too. I think unfortunately, Lima, Peru for American Inns here in November, which is very unfortunate. I think we'll have some other routes that I don't think we'll be going. I think we'll have more coming than going, thank goodness. But we'll have some various changes and we'll be sure to represent those in upcoming airport updates of Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. But really excited for what's to come. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. Hopefully college is going well to this point. I have no clue, I'm filming this uh, August 4th, so I really don't know what's going on, but hopefully it's going well. And nevertheless, hopefully all is good. And I'm gonna be very eager to see where we are at this point. So with all that being said, that will do for today's update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Roger Baviation. I'd like to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Oh my goodness. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Roger Baviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon as Roger Baviation is signing off.